Yes, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This video is part two in the series of uh, Azure to Azure replication. And if you've been following this, in the last video, we replicated our domain controller from uh, one region, which was Canada Central, and uh, we replicated that uh, to East US. And as part of that configuration, we created a resource group with the name BCRG2, and we created a recovery service vault specifically for uh, replication purpose with the name Girish RSV2 and uh, we were able to replicate that uh, successfully. So if I go to my portal, the server in question is the domain controller over here. So if I go to my recovery service vault and uh, expand this and under the replicated items you will see that the domain controller was protected. Now, just to let you know that under the replication health, it will show you a green check mark for you uh, that everything was uh, successfully uh, replicated. What I did was uh, between that video and this video, I switched off my domain controller. So there is a lag, I just switched it on. So that's why it's not showing, but just to let you know that uh, the replication was uh, successful. But in today's video, I just want to uh, show you what are the options available after the replication has taken place. So still under the replicated item, if I expand these uh, three dots here, you will see that I have a couple of options here. So you can uh, disable replication, you can get the, obviously the error details in case there's some error uh, when it comes to replicating the server from one region to another. But the important thing over here is that is the test failover option. Now, when you implement any business continuity or disaster recovery solution, you should be able to uh, confidently test failover to make sure that all the components, all the resources get transferred from one region to another. And Azure Site Recovery provides you that option. So it's a test failover. Good thing is, it is completely segregated from the production environment. So you can still have your production server up and running and uh, it will not any way affect your uh, uh, test failover uh, checks that you want to do. And obviously, if you want to fail over in case something happens, you have the failover option. Uh, it means that your region has went down and you want to uh, direct your uh, all your users to the to the uh, replicated uh, uh, domain controller but let's just let me go to the test failover option and uh, it is uh, failover direction is from Canada Central which is uh, you can see uh, on this uh, whiteboard and uh, we replicated that to the East US so everything is same that's what it's telling and uh, under the recovery point I want to use the latest app consistent. That was the last one that I did. So that's what I'm going to select. It's the only one. And uh, I will use the Azure Virtual Network and uh, click on OK. So the test failure has started, as you can see under the notification tab. And uh, if I go under the site recovery job, which is under monitoring and report, I should see some activity. So you can see the test failover is in progress. Uh, the protected item is my DC, and uh, uh, it will take some time uh, to fail over this uh, uh, this workload. So. What's going to happen is in case my Canada central region goes down, I can uh, definitely spin that up. But the good thing about the test failover is that uh, uh, it will no way uh, uh, affect my uh, production environment. So it's a good way you can check that uh, the uh, process that you have implemented is working uh, perfectly or not. So also, if it is going to show over here or not, so in a, in a moment, you will see that uh, uh, there will be some sort of like DC, domain controller DCBC test sort of VM, which will be appearing over here under the uh, virtual machine. So uh, just another way to have a look over there that, that, that the system is working other than the monitoring tab. 
So that is what I wanted to show you in uh, today's video. And uh, uh, my recommendation is that you should try uh, following the steps which I showed you in last video and today's video. And I hope you'll find that useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.